Uh, my name is George Green. I'm a specialist pelvic health physiotherapist. Uh, what I'm going to demonstrate is how you, yourself, can do some abdominal massage. So who do we get doing this self-abdominal massage? Are you doing it for yourself? We get people with men and women with maybe abdominal or pelvic pain. And in those men and women, they get a lot of tightness of the tummy muscles. They get a lot of pain of the tummy muscles. And when you press into them, they feel quite tight, a little bit in spasm, quite sensitive and quite painful to touch. The second group we get this doing is our wonderful uh, postnatal patients. Uh, some who've had a section, some who haven't had a section, but they're getting maybe abdominal tightness, abdominal tenderness, discomfort. It may be that they have sensitivity around the abdomen and that when you press into it, it's quite, those muscles have become quite tense, quite uncomfortable. We also do it in the postnatal women who've maybe got maybe not great abdominal tone, maybe a bit of a tummy gap, uh, maybe uh, a little bit of uh, still got that kind of residual postnatal uh, kind of uh, swelling shape to the tummy to try and help disperse some of that fluid, but also help to get more uh, tissue mobility back. So we tend to do this on lots of different patients. We do it on our male pelvic pain patients, we get our female pelvic pain patients doing it, and we also get our postnatal uh, mums doing it. So what you're going to do is get something like massage lotion or massage oil that you're happy using in yourself. And what you're going to do is just apply that really from below the ribs down into that lower abdomen, almost to above that kind of pubic symphysis or pubic bone. So sometimes people think that their abdomen is just around the belly button, but it's really taking in that. And you just get a few of that. So from below the ribs, kind of feel into your ribs, into that diaphragm, out to the side, coming down to that kind of flank or down to that bone, and then down into that lower. Let's just straighten these knees down into that lower, keep your head down, into that lower kind of abdomen. So we're going to try and work into all of that. I'm going to do it really with the, with the, the model in lying, but when you're doing it on yourself, generally you're going to be maybe on your couch or bed, sitting up, knees bent up, maybe a couple of pillows under the knees, so everything's quite relaxed. You're going to do it ideally with the heel of your hand, that nice soft part of the hand. It's not ideal doing it with the fingertips because the fingertips tend to be a bit, it's almost a bit too much focused pressure. So heel of the hand and then just get some of that lotion oil in your hand. And then what you're going to do initially is a couple of minutes doing one side coming out from out of the side, under the ribs, crossing over the midline doing about four or five nice sweeps. People always want to know well, sh sh how much pressure do I put on? I think initially light pressure, but you really feel that you're getting into the muscle under the skin. So, you read, so you're not kind of skin touching, you're getting into the muscle, but firm but comfortable. So it shouldn't feel that the muscle is really tightening up against you. It should be comfortable. It's fine if it's a little bit sensitive because a lot of the, the abdomens of people with pelvic pain or postnatal that will be quite sensitive but really doing this decreases that sensitivity so we're going to do a few sweeps across then we overlap by half go down again about four or five then we come down half again half meaning that I've started here, then I'll move the other hand down about a half, half a hand of it. So we overlap the area we've already done. Then we're coming below the belly button four or five times. And then we're coming down, starting to get into that kind of lower abdominal pubic area, just coming above that pubic symphysis. 
because you're coming above the in, into the lower abdomen, it's good to do this maybe with an empty bladder so that you you if, if you a lot of our patients have some bladder pain syndrome, so they don't like pressure on that full bladder. So if you think, well, I'm going to do my abdominal massage this evening, it's good to do that maybe with an empty bladder. So we do it on one side, then we do it on the other side. So the same again, four or five sweeps under the ribs come down a half a hand, four or five sweeps, half a hand, four or five sweeps, into the low of the umbilicus or belly button, into the pelvis. So that's, then when you've done that, I would do maybe a minute or two, nice belly breathing. So you're going to take a nice, nice big breath into the tummy, and then out, doing that for a couple of minutes really. Next thing we'll do is, is we're going to go kind of down vertically. So a little bit, you'll be surprised how much lotion you use doing this. So we're going to go from almost ribs down along that six pack, down into the lower tummy, back up, back down, really doing this three or four times. Then we come out a little bit more, come into more the outer part of that six pack muscle. Back up. And then same again, four or five times out a bit more. So you're overlapping about half each time till you come to the outside. But I would really try and take in the whole of the abdomen, not just the middle part. And then you repeat that on the other side. Sweep down, really doing palm of the hand. Back up. Sweep down, back up, and then you've done that, do a couple of minutes of the belly breathing. The belly breathing is nice breath in, couple of seconds, breath out. Finally, we're going to do some kind of U-shaped loops. So we're going to start down around the pelvis, sweep up, under the ribs, and then down. It's very good for bowel function as well. Sweep up and then down four or five times. So we're going to go up on the right, down on the left. It's like a big semicircle four or five times. Come in a bit closer over the belly button, down. And I also like to do it on both, in both directions. Then a couple more minutes of belly breathing. And then I would repeat all that again. So you're going to do really two goes of each one. Going across, up and down, doing the loop. Interspace by the breathing. So people say, well, how long should this take me? Because you're doing the breathing as well, that would probably take a good 20 minutes or so. But it's good to put the breathing in because the breathing helps everything relax a little bit. Helps the pelvic floor relax, helps the abdomen relax. And I, people say, well, do I need to do this every day? So that's unrealistic. You know, we all have busy lives. We are either working or we have family commitments or we have other activities. So I think it's better to do this maybe even every, even twice a week to start with consistently if you find well I can't do it twice a week maybe once a week and then build back to twice a week some people we get doing it alternate days but they're the people who've got probably high levels of pain high levels of disability and I think it's it's really good to do in combination with the belly breathing and it's also really good to do um, with headspace also. Not at the same time. You don't want to be doing all three at the same time, but I think doing headspace, doing belly breathing or abdominal breathing, which we've got another video on, doing this, that kind of package of things really helps to calm that abdominal tension, tightness, pain down. So thank you for listening and let us know how you get on with it. Thank you very much.